All right, so here we go from 5.4. Uh, so in this case, we're talking about mid-segments. Mid-segments are uh, line segments that connect the midpoints. So uh, we know that in this case, ML is one of those because L is a midpoint of XY of this triangle and M is a midpoint of XZ on this triangle. So we know that LM is gonna be a mid-segment and same with MN because N is also a midpoint of the triangle. So each of these are a mid-segment. I could also draw LN in there. It would be a mid-segment as well, but it doesn't draw it and that's okay. Um, two things we need to know about medians are that they are half as long as the third, as the side that um, that they're not connecting the midpoints of. So like in, other, in this case, LM, the side would be the side down here. That would be XZ, right? It's not, it's not connecting uh, to the midpoints of, the, of that side. And also it is parallel. So this, this mid-segment right here is going to be parallel to this bottom side. So it's parallel and half as long. Um, and so I can also mark this, right? So in other words, NM is parallel, but to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And now we can sort of start looking for things that we um, need. So NM, we're looking for, NM is going to be half of, right? NM is a mid-segment, so it's going to be half of this side. Fortunately, we have this side is 10.2, which means 5.1 is what NM is going to be. And so I'll just write 5.1 there uh, on the diagram as well. So XZ is what we're looking for. Uh, well, XZ is a side, and I have the mid-segment that goes sort of that's parallel to that, right? So I know that's going to be double this 5.6 or 11.2. So I can just write. Now, there's a couple ways I can write that. I can write, of course, that this whole thing is 11.2, and that, that's true. Or I could say that this is 5.6, and this is 5.6 as well. Um, so I can write both. Okay, NZ, this is going to get a little crowded in here, but NZ we know is 5.6. I already did that. Nice. Okay, now we got some angles. And remember the thing about um, when, when, we're at, when it's asking for a side, we need to remember that a midpoint, sorry, a mid segment is half as long as the side, right? The actual length of it. But when I'm talking about angles, I'm going to be dealing with the parallel lines because that's going to give us sort of indicators about uh, angles and, and whatnot. So ask me for LMN. LMN is this angle right here in green. Um, because these two lines are parallel, right? Because LM would be here and XZ would be here and the, and the line, the angle that I'm looking for is here, right? Well, I know on, on this diagram that, that that is 29. In other words, this angle right here is 29. They're alternate interior angles, therefore they're congruent. So, so this angle is also going to be 29. Uh, YXZ. YXZ is this angle right here. Now, in this case, we're sort of dealing with uh, it's, this is sort of part of another parallel line situation because in this case we have XY, which is the side of the triangle, and NM, which is our uh, mid-segment, and they're parallel. And then the bottom of the triangle looks like is here. So we have, we're dealing with this right here, and we know that this is 29. Oh, well, those are uh, corresponding angles, right? So corresponding angles are congruent, so this one has to be 29 degrees. Okay, and then XLM, XLM is this angle here. So we're, we're dealing with sort of the two lines up here, right? We have LM is, is our mid-segment, right? Which, which is this angle right here. We know that's going to be on that angle right up there. So, um, and then that's parallel to the bottom side. And we have that line going through it. So L, L, XLM is this angle, the double angle here. And what we know is this angle, and I should have written it down that this is 29 as well, is that this angle right here is 29. So what do we know about these two? right, if these are parallel, is that we know, sorry, I was marking this parallel, that these are all um, same side interior angles, so they're going to be supplementary. So we get 151. This one has to be 151 because they're going to add the 180. It's a little cramped in there, but it should be good. All right, this is sort of the same kind of thing in this one. So let's take a look. Uh, we have G... Uh, G, J we're trying to find, which again, if, if PQ is the mid-segment that is sort of parallel and sort of goes along with this one, right? Those are going to be parallel. We know that uh, PQ is a mid-segment, so we can say double, or I mean, we, we could essentially write it like this, that GR has to be 19 um, and RJ has to be 19 and the whole thing will then have to be 38. So GJ is 38. RJ is 19, 
our Q is going to be half of whatever the side is. So we know that half of uh, 27 is going to be 13.5. And I could write that in. That's going to be 13.5. Right, this 55 is, is referring to this angle, of course, in there. Okay, uh, then ask me for angle P, Q, R. So this is going to be this angle, which we hopefully recognize that it's very similar, that these are going to be parallel. So these are alternate interior angles, sort of it's this situation right there. So that is also going to be 55. All right, so let's put an arrow. Okay, so 55. H, G, J is this angle. So hopefully we realize that, again, we have these are parallel. And so that these are actually corresponding. So this is going to be 55 as well. And then finally, C, P, uh, sorry, G, P, Q. G, P, Q is this angle, which we hopefully realize is very similar to the last one we have. Those are going to be parallel because they're because that's this is a mid-segment. This is the side. In this case, it was like mid-segment, side. Uh, mid-segment side of the triangle. And then we have this coming down here. So this angle is going to be supplementary to that angle. So this has to be supplementary to this 55. So it's going to be 125 degrees, degrees, degrees. All right. So find the air value of N. So in this case, we have a, we just have a straight up one, we have a midpoint, midpoint, we connect it, we have a mid-segment. So this mid-segment, right, if we double it, we get this side. So if I double 54, I get 108. So I know that 3n equals 108. And I believe that is 36. I want to double check, but I'm pretty sure. And then if we go on to the next one, we basically can look at, yeah, 36. All right. We, we, we're kind of doing the same thing. The difference is, is that we could say, well, half of 35 equals this. Okay. And that, that's perfectly fine, right? So we, we could say half of 35. So 35 divided by 2, right? We know it's just 17.5. So we know that this is 17.5. So we know that n minus 9 is 17.5. So we just basically add 9 to 17.5, both sides, and we get n equals 26.5. Another way would be to say, like, you know what, 2 times the smaller one, n minus 9 equals 35. But it's going to give me the same answer. And so I'll do that on this one. I'll say, you know what? Two times the mid-segment, right? Because I know this is a mid-segment. It's connecting midpoint. So two times the mid-segment is going to give me there. And so I could just divide. I could, I could, I'll, I'll distribute. So we get 8 and uh, plus, is that a 5? Yeah, uh, plus 10 equals 74. So we get 64, 8n equals 64, and equals 8. Awesome. So the idea is sort of using the same thing. You just write an equation. Two times the mid-segment is going to be the side, right? Double the small one gives you the large one. And this sort of the same situation is going to apply here. I could say 2 times 9.5, which is just 19, right? Uh, so I could just write 19 for this side as well. And so we know that that's going to be 2n minus 23. So n is just going to be 21. In this case, we could say two times the mid-segment, right? So twice the small mid-segment is going to equal the, the longer side, the, the side, right? Which is longer. It's always going to be double. So 2n plus 16 distribute equals that. We get 4n equals 16. So n equals 4. All right. We could say double the small mid-segment. So double 2 times 5n equals 8n plus 10. Of course, I could take, I could have said half of 8n plus 10 equals 5n, but I feel like it's easier some, a lot of times to double than to take half when you get uh, things that aren't necessarily great. Uh, so we get 10n equals 8n plus 10. So we get 2n equals 10. We get n equals 5. Awesome. Yeah, found the value of n. So we're good there. This one's a little tricky. Uh, but not so bad. It basically says that um, this is a mid-segment of the large triangle. So GC is a mid-segment of the large triangle. Okay, so that is a mid-segment. So right away, I could sort of tell that if this is a mid-segment, it's going to be half of this side. So half of 33 uh, is going to be 16 and a half. Okay. Uh, and so what I, then I, then it says that FJ or EH 
is going to be a, a mid segment of another of another triangle, right? So of this triangle of C of the small triangle here, this is a mid segment. So it sort of is cutting this into two pieces, right? And the other side as well, which would be hard to mark it. Okay. Um, and then, then it also says that this FJ is, is of the mid segment of this triangle. Okay. So let's see what we can get. Well, if this is 57, if these are parallel, right? This green and this 33, this AB and GC are parallel. Um, right. So we have parallel and parallel. So we know that this is 57. So this is going to be 57 as well, because those are, um, uh, the, they are um, corresponding angles, so they're going to be congruent. I know that C is a midpoint, so if this is 22 right here, this is going to be 22 over here. Um, if this is 16.5, I can cut 16.5 in half, right, 8.25 to get each of these two sides because it's a midpoint. Uh, if this is 8.25, half of 8.25 is going to be um, FJ, so for... 0.125 and again you can calculate those and that's just because this is the mid segment of this and this is the mid segment of that so we're just sort of using the fact that it's the mid, the mid segment any other angles i can find uh this angle right here because these are parallel right this is also going to be 57 degrees in there um and then you could say that this is also 57 let's see what we need actually it's going to get a little cramped if i try to write everything in which is you normally know, a good strategy if you have plenty of room just write it all in just info dump everything that you know and then see what, we, what it asks for so CG, yeah, we got that. It was 16.5, the whole thing. DCG, DCG is 57. We got that. It was corresponding with that other angle there. EH, uh, oh, well, if this side is 22 right here, EH just has to be 11, so it's going to be half of it, right, because it's the mid-segment. GHE, GHE is going to be 57 degrees. Got that already. FJ, FJ, we already got is 4.125. Wasn't sure if I needed it, but I did. And then angle FJH, FJH. So actually, this one involves having FJ as my mid segment and GC as my third, my, as my side here. And then we have this line coming across. So we're trying to find this angle right there, but we know this angle right there is 57, which means that that has to be supplementary because those are same side interior angles. So they're going to be supplementary. So we get 123 degrees. That was tricky because it involved a bunch. But it was, did you see that? It moved it. It moved my it moved my degree sign over there. I'm not going crazy. I think it did. Okay. Stay. Stay degree sign. Stay. Good. All right. So it says PQ is a mid segment of triangle RST. What is the length of RT? Oh, it's a mid segment. So we got there. I can mark these as congruent because again, if it's a mid segment, it connects the midpoints. Um, but it's basically two times the mid segment has to give you that third side. Uh, so we get 2x plus 18 equals 4x minus 27. We get 2x equals 45. And so we get uh, x equals, well, it's 45 over 2, so that's going to be uh, 22.5. So that's x. Oh, that's not what we need. Shouldn't have circled it. That's not what we need. We need RT. So we're going to plug it back into here. So RT time, uh, so four times 22.5 minus 27 is what we're going to be doing. And so four times 22.5 is 90. Yeah, because two times is 45. Yeah, so 90 minus 27, right? So we just get 63. So that's not 63 degrees, just 63 which is hopefully an answer choice. It is. It's D. Nailed it. All right. So let's look at the next one. It says U, V, W, M is the midpoint of V, U, N is the midpoint of V, W, which statement is true. Okay. So um, I got to draw a triangle. I got to label it U, V, W. So U, V, W says that M is the midpoint of V, U. Okay, so I'll mark it as the midpoint. It is also M. It says N is the midpoint. N is the midpoint of VW. So right here is the midpoint of VW. And this is which statement is true. I'm assuming we're going to have to draw this in to make a mid-segment, but who knows. Uh, VM is congruent to V VM and V, oh, that's N. And VN are congruent, not necessarily. So we don't know that. Uh, VU 
is going to be two times V M. That is actually going to be true. So let's double check that. Make to make sure that the other ones aren't M N is going to be equal to U V not necessarily at all. Um, they don't have any relation really. V W is one half of V N. It's actually the other way around. It would be V W is two times V N. So it looks like we were right. It is this one. Okay. It says that this is the mid-segment triangle of that, which the following measures cannot be determined. Um, so let's mark down everything we know, right? So if this is a mid-segment triangle, that means Y is the midpoint. So we can get, you know, that each of those sides is congruent. So that's 14, that's 14. Uh, we also know that the, this right here, which means the whole thing is 28, right? Which means that half of this 28 gives me the mid-segment, which is 20, oh, which is 14, sorry. So XZ is 14. Uh, we know if this is 67, we could actually get that this is 67. We could get that um, this is also 67. Um, what else? That might be it for that. Maybe something else, but yeah, that's really only on one or two sets of those lines there. So I think that's good. Um, if this is eight, again, we would know that this also has to be eight and this also has to be eight. The whole thing is 16. So what can we get? Can we get KL? Yeah, we know it's 16. Can we get JY? JY is 14. We knew that. Can we get XZL? XZL? Yeah, I got it. It was the six, same as 67. KZY? KZY? It's this one. have no idea what that one is. So with, that's the one that cannot be determined. All right. I will see you in the next one.